What's up everyone, this is Darfin87, welcome back to Today in WoW. Today is Tuesday, so we have the weekly reset and some of the activities that are going to be coming out for today and all the way for next week. In addition to that, we do have some PTR information regarding the Nomerigan Pet Battle Dungeon. So we're going to go over that towards the end of this video. Let's first start us off with our daily activities. Now, if you remember yesterday, I did mention that I was going to cash in all of my emissaries. So currently, the only one displaying on my screen is going to be the Sandalier Empire. Champions of Astra should be open still today. If you didn't get a chance to cash it in yesterday, that's going to be available for 24 hours. The Alliance and the Horde War Effort are available as well, which is going to be due in the next 48 hours. And like I said, today we got the uh, Sandalier Empire for the Horde and Proud Mode Admiralty for the Alliance, and that's going to be due in the next 72 hours. For the Champion of Astra quest, we're going to have a total of one Madness and two Mining here in uh, Sandalar. Sultasar is going to have the first one, which is going to be Asteroid Mining on the southwest portion of the map. Nasmir is going to have Asteroid Madness on the west side of the map. And Baldoon is going to have our last one, which is going to be an Asteroid Mining quest. Uh, this time is going to be located on the east portion of the map, almost off of the coast. Fultiras is going to have our last three. One of them is going to be Empowerment, one Madness, and one Mining. Stormstone Valley is going to have two of them, one of them being the Asteroid Madness quest on the southeast portion of the map. And then we're also have, going to have Asteroid Mining on the west portion, uh, southern part of the map. Tyre Garcon is going to have the last one, which is going to be an Asteroid Empowerment quest, and it's going to be on the northern east portion of the map. The Alliance currently controls the Warfront. They have four days and nine hours to complete the scenario. The Horde still has the portal available to complete the World Boss and any other rares in the area. We have a couple of activities that started this week, uh, the first one being PvP Brawl, which is going to be the South Shore vs Terran Mill. You're able to complete this activity starting today all the way to the 23rd of October. The Time Walking Dungeon event available this week is going to be for Mist Pandaria. Don't forget to visit the Chronicler in your uh, capital city for BFA to get the quest. The quest name this time is going to be A Shrouded Path Through Time. And it's going to give you a cache of all their treasures, as well as a Radiant Asteroid Core. In order for you to earn that reward, you're going to have to complete a total of 5 time walking dungeons from here till the end of the week. The Seals of Warrantorn Fate should have reset already, so you should be able to pick up your two additional seals for the week. Remember that you can get two per week for a total of five uh, that you can carry at a time. The Island Expeditions available for this week is going to be Molten K, Ongo Ruins, and Whispering Reef. You can complete this in Normal, Heroic, Mythic, or PvP. The last two you need to bring a group in order for you to complete those. Don't forget that starting this week, we're going to be getting uh, brand new uh, random mobs and invasions for the Island Expeditions. Starting today, October 16, all the way to the 23rd, we're going to get Air Elementals. The two notable things that you might be able to get with this specific Air Elementals is going to be the Mischievous uh, Sefer, which is basically a pet that you can see on our screen now. And you're also going to have the opportunity to get the Transmog set called Whirling Dervish, which again can be seen on the screen as well. The Call to Arms available this week is going to be for Tyregard Sound. In order for you to earn the Steel Strong Box, the 50 Conquest Points and the 250 Honor Points, you're going to have to kill a total of 10 Alliance or Horde players depending on your faction. Last but not least, we have the uh, World Boss available this week. Uh, for this week, the quest is going to be called the Faceless Herald. In order for you to complete the face of the Herald, you have to kill Warbringer Janats. This Warbringer will drop level 355 plus armor. Uh, he does have a total of two clock pieces, one of them being the, the Amiss of the Rending Abyss, which is an Asteroid piece. He also has the Wrist Wraps of the Warp Reality, which is again a clock piece. For Leather Armor, he has two pieces, one of them being the Leggings of the Endless Void, and the last one being the Shadow Red Gloves. He does have two male pieces, one of them being an Asteroid Armor piece, which is the Spolders of the Developing Maw, and Janat's Chitunius Stumpers. One uh, play piece, which is going to be the Existence Shattering Gauntlets. One ring, which is the Band of Intense Gravitation. And the last one being the Prism of Dark Intensity. Don't forget that you can use your Seal of Fates for this specific boss. Alright, so let's talk about the news now. One thing I wanted to cover is the fact that the BlizzCon map has been uh, revealed. Uh, you should be able to visit the link below to take a look at it specifically. Uh, if you're attending BlizzCon, this is probably something you want to keep an eye out for so that you know exactly where to go and when to go to it. It is currently displaying on the screen, but if you want to look at it in a little bit more detail, you're welcome to look at the link below. As I mentioned earlier, the new Pet Battle Dungeon is available now on PTR. 
Wahead.com created a really nice preview of this specific event. You're welcome to check everything out on the description below. In order for you to get this event started, you have to visit one of the NPCs located in BFA Capitals. Radek Fuslock is available on the Sar Alor, and TC Gear Joel is available on Hook Point, which is in Boralus. The battle is broken down in a total of nine stages. On the first stage, you have to defeat the prototype Anoyotron. On the second stage, you have to defeat a total of three elementals, which is the Living Sludge, the Living Napal, and the Living Permafrost. On the third stage, you have to defeat the Door Control Console. On the fourth stage, there's no pet battle, but you have to run through the hallway and bypass all of the bomb bots. On the fifth stage, you have to beat the Cockroach and the Leaper Rat. On the sixth stage, you have to defeat the Bloated Leaper Rat. On the seventh stage, you have to activate the Numerican Defense Force, which means you have to defeat the Numerican Guard Mechanostrider, the Numerican Guard Tiger, and the Numerican Guard Wolf. The H stage is basically just a roleplay with one shadowy figure. And last but not least, you have to beat Pulverizer Bot MK6001. Completing the challenge version of this dungeon will reward you with, of course, the achievement and also a mini spider tank. Uh, completing the quest to finish the normal version of the pet battle rewards you with the ultimate battle training zone and also unlocks the mana proof link for Dunmora. Uh, completing the challenge version once a week rewards you a uh, pristine gizmo, which basically can be exchanged for more prices uh, from uh, Microsoft. Microsoft sells the following items and an open American supply box for one uh, pristine gizmo, a mechanical cockroach for one uh, pristine gizmo, the schematic for a mechatantula, which is basically an engineering pattern that allows the engineers to create a mechatantula. It also costs one uh, pristine gizmo, the leaper rat tail, which allows you to summon the leaper rat, costs two pristine gizmos, and the last thing is the rechargeable alarm or dock battery, which costs a total of three pristine gizmos. That's gonna be it for this video, guys. If you have any comments or suggestions, don't forget to leave those below. This is Dwarfin87 signing off. See you in our next video.